Welcome to Saturday Night Football, presented by Southwest Airlines. You are looking live at a sold-out Stanford Stadium, the setting for the Pac-12 game of the year. Unbeaten Stanford against once-beaten Oregon, a conference championship, and a BCS bid. Journey begins here. Montgomery from the three will come out. Slips and he is down. And folks, that turf is a story. Now uh, flexes from the right side of the line. Luck is going to flare the ball. And Gaffney into the game cannot get to the first down. Read well by Michael Clay, number 46, the linebacker. During Fox is anything. Now the Ducks are in third and 11. Darren to put up his first pass, and it is incomplete. Batamasi with Gaffney checks into the game. Gaffney first down, explodes on a big running hole as they stick with the running game. Boyette. Well, and the fellas will get those changed as this game progresses, Herbie, as you know. Third and nine now, and Luck has got plenty of time. Intercepted. A horrendous throw and Stucky is upended by luck at the 20 yard line. The Ducks are in business. And let's give Nick Aliotti a lot in fifth in the country down in this area. Second down and goal juggle on the snap. Darren keeps it on the move high and caught. Touchdown Oregon strikes first. Two and I working the back of the end zone makes the grab and two and I throw by Thomas. So there is that spread one point or two. They snap it. They're going to throw for two. The trickery caught. Got it. It's eight nothing. They throw back to Jeff Palmer. He's at the 33 yard line with this first down. Complete, and that's to his tight end Kobe Fleener. As we go for an update, is Robert Taylor and these other Cardinal backs want to bounce things outside. Wilkerson is now in, but they hand it to Hewitt, and he barges straight ahead for the first down, just shy of midfield. So they run the Wildcat, and it is Gaffney keeping it. And Gaffney continues to battle. By the way, Herbie, I was going to say now <laughs> that they, they say they've taken it away. The freshman motion through the backfield. And here's Stefan Taylor uh, powering ahead for what appeared to be a first down. You know, you know what's throw with those guys who play Sunday football. Here comes Andrew Luck handing off to Taylor. Taylor cuts through the middle. Hangs for a first down. Your feeling. There's your jumbo offensive line. They move in an extra tackle and he gets the first down. Stefan Taylor. Stefan Taylor uh, over 60 yards rushing already. He just motioned through the formation. He's flexed off to the left. He's number 82. Luck is looking in that direction. Fires wide open. Touchdown. Went outside Whalen. Griff Whalen. The box score, you see highlights. How he handles adversity. That was a big drive for the Cardinal. Eric Whitaker misses the extra point. Darren Thomas, handoff to LaMichael, who powers his way for the first down. Last game to help the battle up right now at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. Great cut by Anthony to daylight. Adios. Touchdown, LaMichael James, the leading rusher in the nation. 
clawing his way back into that Heisman Trophy argument after losing to LSU back on Labor Day weekend. Is it who plays Oregon? And here is Maldonado tacking on the extra point. Offsetting. Play action. Luck looks for a target. Dances out of trouble. On the move. Fires high. Complete first down. And guess who got it? Right. Performance and another. Great to see Kansas State and, and uh, Colin Klein bounce back today. Yeah, exactly. Trailed the Aggies. Rallied. Straight back. Luck fires incomplete. What's your feeling about Andrews throwing a little bit? <laughs> Second and seven. DeAnthony looking fumble. Cardinals got it. Lancaster wraps it up. The freshman had two big fumbles against LSU and now a big one against Stanford. We just once comes into play for Luck with the play action pass. Two receivers on the left. Luck comes back into the middle and is complete to Whalen. And a, this is probably a four down territory situation for Stanford. We'll have to see how that unfolds. So here is your fourth down as the back of Whitaker. Perfect. So after missing an extra point, he does come back and hit a 9-0-3. Folks, do you believe it? Here's LaMichael James now back into the backfield for the Ducks. Play action from Darren. Darren throws downfield, Herbie, and he's got it complete to Bond. Bond's second catch of the day. Out of the lineup still. Now they run, and LaMichael James, an easy first down. And alongside Darren Thomas, the quarterback. DeAnthony is stuffed. On the handoff, he's driven back for a loss to the 45-yard line. Ben from Stanford's 41-yard line. Darren is back under pressure, drops off the screen. DeAnthony Thomas coming down the sideline, going for the end zone. And he steps in for the touchdown on a fourth and seven call by Chip Kelly. Didn't even think about punting in that situation. Again. And I want to tell you, Otto is on for this extra point. And he tacks it on. 22 to 9. Fleener makes a great grab at the 49-yard line with Pleasant draped all over him. What a terrific left here, Herbie. And Stanford with all three of its timeouts. Stewart, fine blocker, checks in as a protector under pressure. Fires complete to Whalen. Comes back to his go-to guy. He's the Wes Welker of the... Luck fires back to the middle, and he's got his first down, and there's Whalen again. He's across the 15-yard line. They've got 45 seconds. First and 10. Slant. Touchdown. What a beautiful throw to Whalen. Is that an NFL throw? Look like Are you kidding me? How George Hill, you do NFL on Sunday night? It doesn't get much better than that. Wow! He stuck it in there, didn't he? <laughs> that drive, complete control during that two-minute drive. Now Whitaker knocks through an extra point. He's going to try to find a matchup, try to get the ball downfield. He has all three timeouts. Darren Thomas flips it back to Barner. Barner. And Barner will step out of bounds with 11 seconds. Ball out of his hands quickly. 40 yards, I believe, is the kicker's long. And they'll stop the clock here with five seconds on this completion again to Barner. Let's see what he comes up with. Darren is back. Fires incomplete, and time runs out. Paulson was working the sideline, hoping to 
get that pass for him to run the ball much because of our backs and because we've been up so big in most of our games. Now Darren is looking to throw the screen pass and a jump catch by the Michael James for a first down at the 40 yard line. Darren finds Huff wide open. Huff beats the corner. Breaks free for a touchdown. How about this? A missed tackle leads to a touchdown for Josh Huff. A 59-yard scoring strike. Three huge scoring plays for the Ducks now, and the Stanford defense is really. We talked about makes one guy miss, and he uses his speed to get to the end zone. Maldonado tacks on the extra point. So the touchdown plays to I don't know if you have to reach deep in the playbook for that one. <laughs> <laughs> there goes. I would think that Andrew would have it on his wristband. <laughs> Fake receiver sacked going down taken down at the 34 yard line Taylor Hart was in there helmet and they've been instructed to call it the Michael James fair catch fumble Stanford pounces on it and Oregon tries to steal it back and they can't Stanford football on the Michael James turnover. Like Ed Reynolds got in there and cuffed. Stanford needs to pick it up here. Clean and dropped again. Fleener. Long enough leg, but it doesn't appear to us up here that field goals are going to beat this Oregon team. And that's bad off to the right. That, that's pushed way outside on that field goal attempt. What do you think of that decision, Irving? Speed, you have to be perfect with your gap control on every single run by this offense. Darren Thomas takes the snap. Going to throw across the middle and complete. And that time it was fine coverage. And that's Gatewood who's a, who comes over and makes Andrew Luck fumbles on the blitz. Aliotti dials it up and the Ducks are in business again. Turner punches the ball out and it comes free and I believe that was Hannah who jumped on it. So Alioto on a first and ten. Third down and ten. Cardinal trying to dig in here defensively. Thomas fires and Tune does not get the first down. Give the defense much time comes right out and goes for it. Touchdown to Michael James. By moving quickly like that, you catch a defense off balance. And tonight, Chip Kelly has struck twice on fourth downs. That's confidence in a quarterback and a confidence. He pays off for the Ducks. Maldonado adds the extra point. Freeling. And Andrew Luck steps up. There's a penalty flag incomplete. The freshman Montgomery was the target. And Alonzo was bringing the heat, but they're. So the ball is moved to the 42 yard line of the Ducks, and they bring Gaffney in. Strong run for about nine yards. Alio, the Wildcat, second time here tonight. First down, Gaffney maintains ball control as comes across the the third. Comes back, a first down. Torlolo came right back to him, and this time much more accurate. Goes empty. Luck firing. And slipping toward Lolo as he was reaching 
And I think more than any drive of the night. The house look. And they throw to him off a nice fake. So Stewart dances in, and they've got one back. to the 13 point game. But the bigger issue here, the Michael James is the running back. Darren keeps it on a beautiful, beautiful zone read play. This time, the Michael James. And he battles his way. Right up from the 47. They'll run the toss play to James. James backs his way across the 40 yard line on a strong run. LaMichael steps to the left, cuts, and he is to the three yard line. Michael Thomas brings. Now he's got his third score. And the Ducks are quacking. On display once again for this offense. Maldonado. Cue the Duck. Alabama is going to obviously be in the discussion. So on first and ten for Luck and the Cardinal. Fires to Whalen at the 46 yard line. Driven out of bounds after the radio booth, I believe that is, for the Oregon Ducks. And there's Fleener in underneath. And he's down to the 30 yard line for a first and 10. Well, here's first down. Toy Lolo. And he comes across and picks up a first down into the red zone in the 19 year With a great deal of experience. First down. And Whalen with a first and goal at the eight yard line. He's got one on one coverage on the out. From the nine yard line. Luck going to take off. Down to the one yard line and a. Uh, Shoe came off somebody's foot. They're one of the uh, so one of the ducks. <laughs> Across into the end zone. It may have been a free play. I think a defensive lineman again came across the neutral zone, and Stewart's touchdown is going to count. Offside on the defense, number 66. That penalty is declined. Touchdown. So Taylor Hart keeps firing, you know, he's a great, great competitor. Those are some of the things, and if we had, that one just did get across. Whew. Here comes Barner, got the first down, breaks across midfield before Carrington. What kind of coverage they're in. Keeps it himself, and he's got nothing but daylight. Down to the 25 yard line. And, and he keeps the fresh legs and Barner. Yeah, that was Trent Murphy and another one, Herbie, who's played well for the Cardinals. Richardson lost last week. Kellen Moore lost today. Now Maldonado with a 40 yarder. And he's got it. So it's a 16 point lead or a two touchdown and two two point everybody lined up get everybody ready to attack he led a perfect two minute drive right before the half intercepted should have been caught instead it's going to be a pick six take it in by the combo From Fresno, California, the sophomore linebacker. Look what I found. What a moment for 
that I've seen all night tonight from Andrew Luck. Instead of being selfish and worried about a pick six, he pats the kid on the back and he says, hey, shake it off. Don't worry about it. That's impressive. And so Aminem had a good return. Fumble! And the Ducks have got it. It is starting to get ugly. It's okay if you say Oregon is in position. It's okay. Is it okay to say that? It's okay. It? You can is say that. that. Okay. <laughs> can, I, can I say, can we assume they'll beat Oregon State? <laughs> you can say that they're in position. And we'll find That's out. That's what I'm saying. In we'll position. We'll against the Trojans, okay? Yeah. USC, Oregon State. But yeah, a chance to host the Pac-12 championship game at Autzen Stadium. So... For Arizona State, or whoever ends up coming out of the Pac-12 South, yeah, they'll have their hands full. Good luck with tickets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>